including free code camp, JavaScript algos, and data structures. Basic JavaScript on challenge 91 of 113. So today we are going to test objects for properties. So basically this is all saying uh, we have a dot has own property function. This is a built-in function that we can call on objects. So in this example we have an object here with a property of top and bottom and it's you know according values. So we can test if this object has its a property of top by calling this built-in method with dot notation on the object itself uh, and this would return true because it does have a top property and then this one would return false because it does not have a middle property. So all we're going to do is create a function that checks an object for uh, properties within it and it will return the property if the property is found return the property value so if we called it on um, top it would return hat and then if we called it on middle it would return not found so we're going to change this this code here so we can say just like the syntax we see here we can in this function takes in the object obj and takes in the check prop the prop that we're actually searching for so we can say ob obj dot has own property of check prop so this will this is a true or a false uh, and if it's true we can say if this return so just saying if obj has own property again this is true or false so uh, if it's true this if check will execute if it's false it will not execute and we know that this property uh, will return a true or false value so we can just plug that whole thing in there we don't have to say anything else and just space this out so you can kind of see but yeah we have this if check this is basically saying if true execute if false not execute so return obj bracket notation check prop so now we're accessing the prop of obj and returning that that whole that whole thing else really don't need an else here because we have a return statement but just best practice copy and paste properly there we go uh, otherwise that means that that property is not there so that is false so this code block here will not execute so this it'll turn to the else statement and then we can return not found there we go and that's all we need to do for that one this is kind of abstract if, if you're struggling with this because uh, it is not displaying anything in the council but you can see in this example it's calling this check obj function uh, it's giving it the object this object here and it's searching for the property of gift and it does in fact have a gift property so it returns the string pony because we are returning that obj that was passed in that object at the check prop property which was gift and that is gift so it'll, it gives us pony that's all we had to do for that one hope that helped and hope to see you guys in the next challenge